welcome guys thank you so much for joining in so today in this video i'm going to show you a very very interesting scenario unfolding right now with bitcoin price action and also with ethereum because right now if we start our analysis of bitcoin usd in a weekly time frame you can see in a weekly time frame i have already said you guys that the price here has broken out of the 61.80 fibonacci level now we are heading towards this 76.39 percent fibonacci level this yellow line that is going to be around 61 to 62,000 price level and if we look at the previous example here you can see whenever we were able to find support above this 61.80 fibonacci level we always tested the yellow line that is 76.39 percent you can see here pretty similar broke out of this red line the 61.80 and came and tested the 76.39 percent we even went higher the point here is doesn't matter we failed to touch the top point but price at least came to this yellow line of 76.39 percent so in our case right now the upward target here in a weekly time frame for me is going to be around this 61,000 to 62,000 price level this trend still looks very very bullish because you can just add this one single rising trend line to pinpoint this price structure because you can see in every time when we were following this rising trend line unless we didn't broke out of this the price clearly headed towards the upper direction you can see here right in a weekly time frame the price of bitcoin looks very very bullish and you can see that very clearly so now we can also follow this rising trend line and any sort of a pullback this rising trend line could act as a very strong support and then you can see we could also head towards this top of the channel and if that's going to happen then we could be nearing this hundred thousand price level very very soon guys and also if you look at this in a daily time frame you can see in a daily time frame we did talk about this price structure in my video we have called this price target pretty accurately so far 53,000 55,000 and i also said to you hey after 55,000 there might be some shakeout and this is exactly what we witnessed yesterday and now we want to know if this is going to continue which is our short-term target label for me right now guys i will be looking around this price level this 1.272 and 1.414 fibonacci extension label so between this line it's going to be my target level because i just showed you with weekly time frame there is a very likely scenario that we are going to test the 61 to 62,000 price level because this 1.272 is at 59,700 and this 1.414 is around 63,000 price level so now i will be focusing more on this price target here between this 1.414 and 1.272 fibonacci exchange level so that should be around 61 to 62 thousand price level because you can see this on balance volume is still flashing some bullish movement i said you on my previous video that whenever we were breaking out of this previous temporary high this was the previous temporary high we broke out of it impulsive move followed i showed you with each and every movement here whenever we broke out of this previous temporary high and impulsive move followed and this is also flashing right now that hey this on balance volume is clearly flashing the trend here still has some more capability to continue further in an upper duration there might be some shakeouts on our way but doesn't mean the trend is going to be bearish right keep that in mind guys and also if you look at this histogram rsi histogram is also flashing really nice positive scenario and also guys i would really really appreciate if you could just take two seconds of your time and smash the like button and for those individuals watching this video for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell and also let me make you aware that right now famex is giving away around 680 dollar bonus to those individuals who sign up using my ref link down below and it is for limited time only guys because you can see we only have two more days left follow the instruction and claim your bonuses so now guys if you want to look at this right in a bit different way you can also use this single wyckoff's re accumulant phase scenario because i have said you according to this wyckoff i think there were only like few individuals who actually looked at this price structure i was among them i said to you guys hey this here is a wyckoff's re accumulant phase and after breaking this race line there is going to be some impulsive move ahead and this is exactly what we also witnessed with price action of bitcoin if you look at this here after this price structure right breaking out of this race line the price he has already like moved around 39 percent so that is a very nice impulsive move so according to this example as well there might be some shakeout on our way right you can see the shakeout type of scenario but still it is indicating a move here in an upper direction so for me right now even if we are going to see any sort of a shakeout what you can do is simply add this ascending channel because you can see 
this ascending channel upper line is acting some sort of a resistance but we are aware and we are also saying that hey because this line here is also flashing out that there are going to be some sort of a shakeout but this shakeout doesn't mean the trend is going to be bearish maybe it's going to be some sort of a like consolidation type of scenario but still i will be looking more likely a move here in an upper duration towards our target of 61 to 62 thousand price level also in a bigger time frame right now and also here in a daily time frame and right now if you look at this in a wyckoff's reaction phase scenario this is also flashing us the move here in an upper duration and now let's look at this price structure in a bit different way so this is also in a daily time frame and i have actually used this williams alligator indicator for those individuals asking me which indicator i'm using guys williams alligator indicator so if you use this williams alligator indicator although it's a lagging indicator let me be real here but still you can see it has given us some very very strong indication before the train has actually starts moving in a certain direction i told you also in my video whenever you see this green line crossing over of this red line and the blue line that is going to be an impulsive move and if you see here whenever we have this proper crossover of this green line at the top blue line at the bottom the train always headed in an upper direction it has happened many times you can see guys but whenever you see this blue line at the top and the green line at the bottom in this case that's a sign of a train reversal similarly here green line at the top blue line at the bottom train headed in an upper direction right now this is clearly flashing some bullish scenario because this train is clearly hitting an upper duration and any sort of a pullback this top line here could be acting as a support and then the price could still continue further in an upper duration because if you look at this rsi and let me change this price level of 50 this rsi of a 50 level is actually flashing the strength here is there to continue further in an upper duration because every time when we had this crossover proper crossover like this here right this rsi also started moving above 50 level you can see from here on the rsi was clearly hitting in an upper duration you can see for example from here on exactly after this crossover the rsi also started clearly hitting an upper duration so this crossover along with this rsi also gave us a really nice indication that train here has potential to continue further in an upper duration so guys these are some of the scenario i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin in a weekly time frame in a daily time frame so now let's also have a quick look at in a smaller time frame so right now this here is bitcoin you see in a four hour time frame in a four hour time frame what we can do pretty simple guys we can actually look at the price scenario using this rising trend line because this rising trend line now is clearly flashing that hey we have to be a bit careful because you can see here the upper line is where we are getting some sort of a rejection so the price here of bitcoin is clearly flashing that hey this upper line area has previously also acted as a resistance lower line played as a very very strong support right so now this is also flashing that hey if you want to continue further in an upper duration first break out from this upper line of this ascending channel and then there could be some impulsive move waiting us ahead in this manner but i personally think this is going to be more like a consolidation type of scenario and a slow move towards our price target area to be honest because any sort of a pullback we can also see the lower line is here going to be acting as a support so let's see if this is going to be another pullback then we know this lower line is going to be a very strong support and if you want to add another movement here using this ascending channel to the upside you can also see so this ascending channel the upper line here was a very strong resistance line you can see here right plenty of time it rejected the price but once we were able to find support here, it headed straight to the upside so now we know the lower line has two strong support around that price level so for bitcoin any sort of a price pullback this upper line of this bigger ascending channel and on the lower line of this ascending channel the smaller ascending channel could be acting as a very very strong support around this price level of 53,000 to 52,000 price level for us right now it's a very good sign that price above 50 level has a very very strong support and in a bigger time frame or in a daily time frame any sort of a pullback according to this analysis you can also see this 100 percent fibonacci exchange level of 53,000 is going to be one very very strong support along with this upper line of this ascending channel this is some of the scenario i see looking at the price action of bitcoin and now let's look at ethereum price action so if we look at this ether usd price action guys right now you can see let me hide this fibonacci exchange level okay so if you look at this only by using this ascending channel the upper line again rejected the price just like in the past ether price action you can see this upper line is a very very strong resistance line but this doesn't mean the train is in a bearish state because if you have watched my previous video you know 
I gave you a very nice example what exactly could be playing around this price level. If you remember properly, I said to you guys, hey, this rejection here, what we are witnessing, could be forming a very nice broad new type of scenario. So we got a rejection again after reaching the upper line area. Now, there are going to be more like a consolidation type of scenario before an actual breakout starts appearing and this is also exactly what we are witnessing right now with ether price action because this here is an important with type of scenario which we talked in my yesterday's video right and you can see the breakout from this point b till this point e area this was our upper target and look at this guys after this price movement here our upper target is around 2200 and if you add this fibonacci extension label here from this point here Till this breakout point, you can see, guys, the price here is also flashing exact price target of 2200 here. The 1.618 Fibonacci extension label to be our next possible price target for ETA. So please be careful. We do see some sort of a consolidation and also fake out around this area, but still, you can see this 1.618 Fibonacci extension label and also this ascending broad new target is also pointing out that the price of ETA can still go higher and reach this. 2200 price level and if you want to look at this in a smaller time frame or also look at this indicator here to the downside no problem if you look at this here guys this rsi right now is also over 50 levels as long as we are over 50 level that is a very good sign that is showing the strength is there to continue further in an upper duration and also if you look at this macd macd is not that clear here we had this bullish crossover again some bearish crossover and now it is actually more likely showing this kind of scenario here from the past price structure here more like a consolidation type of scenario and that's why i said to you hey expect some consolidation before we see another impulsive move here in an upper duration and if you look at this on balance volume on balance volume is also pretty similar to bitcoin price action whenever we broke out of this previous temporary resistance line or previous temporary price level this high point you can see here right impulsive move impulsive move after here right now this on balance volume is also pointing out that ether could also be flashing some impulsive move in an upcoming day so that's why i was saying here that even though if we are going to see sort of a pullback or shakeout type of scenario our price target here is clearly flashing a very very bullish move here in an upper duration so any sort of a price pullback right any sort of a price pullback expect this lower line here from this ascending broad image acting as a very very strong support and also this 100 person fibonacci exchange level 1700 is a one very very strong support for ether now let's switch this chart into smaller time frame in a four hour time frame so if you look at this here in a four hour time frame you can see i just said you in a four hour time frame if you look only at this price structure and monitor the price movement we could be forming a very nice ascending channel and those people who have been watching my video i give you a very nice indication that this year this broadening weights breakout type of scenario double bottom type of scenario here right all was flashing the trend here is going to continue towards the top of this channel and look at this price of ether did came exactly at this top of this channel and now we are finding some resistance we had a pullback and also where did it came exactly at the bottom area which we previously also acted as a very very strong support line so now any sort of a pullback you can see this lower line is going to act as a very very strong support and to the upside we still have some more potential to continue further in upper duration because according to this price movement, our price target here, the possible price target is going to be around this 1.618 Fibonacci extension level of 2,200 price level for ETA right now. And if you switch this even in a smaller time frame, hourly time frame, you can see in hourly time frame right now, we are also flashing again this double bottom type of scenario, which usually indicates, hey, since we have clearly broken out of this neckline, there is a very likely scenario that we are going to see some impulsive move here in an upper duration at least at least around this 2020 to 2030 price level again and if you want to say hey i want to add this descending broad new age we can do exactly like this here guys so you can see this here is looked like a very nice descending broad new age and if you want to measure the price target here to the upside following this descending broad new age guys what we can do is you can see if we are going to see any sort of a breakout the upward line here is also clearly being targeted just like here if you have watched my video i showed you right this descending broad image was also flashing a possible target towards this, this top of the channel and now this is also flashing a top of the channel so we are going to expect some more consolidation before price again reaches above this 2000 price level and also this 2200 hour upper target level and any sort of a pullback this lower line of this ascending channel is going to act as a very very strong support so guys these are some of the scenario i thought sharing with you in today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case then hit the like button and also for those individuals watching this for the first time 
definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell. So by seeing this, I'm signing out. My name is Anoop. Bye-bye, guys.